Learn how to make any project beautiful simply by using circle graphics. Seriously, just take a basic logo or a title project, plop down a circle or any type of shape, and with some quick effects, you'll instantly be able to see a massive difference in your work. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. And if you're ready to create some awesome project files here in After Effects, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, as always, you can download our project files for free if you wish to break this down and follow along. So here we are in our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a very clean, dark, gray background. So the first thing we're gonna create are the circle graphics, but you can use any shape that you wish. So we'll come here to the top, grab the ellipse tool, and we can draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard. So you see this anchor point right here. What we wanna do is make sure the layer is selected and control double click the pan behind tool. This will automatically center it and it's gonna matter later. So now we have our circle ready to go. The first thing we'll do is come here to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab a gradient ramp. So here we'll go ahead and change the colors. We wanna go ahead and select two colors that look really good. So maybe I'll go with an orange here. And then for our second color, I'll go ahead and choose something maybe on the more magenta side. And these two colors look really great. You can copy my hex codes if you wanna copy the color palette. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll take the anchor points on the gradient ramp and just move this gradient around until we have it exactly where we like it. And then we'll add one more effect to this. We'll go to effect, blur and sharpen, and we'll grab a fast box blur and we'll set the blur radius to 17. And it's gonna make it look very soft and looks nice. So now that we have the two effects ready to go, what we wanna do is hit P on our keyboard for position, Alt, click the stopwatch, and we'll just do a quick wiggle expression. So we'll type wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma 10, close parenthesis and we'll have a very subtle movement in our circle. So now all we need to do is take that circle and duplicate it a few times. So we'll take our circle and we'll just move it around our composition. One thing you may need to do is just adjust a gradient ramp anchor points as you move it, so just quickly do that. And then we can take our circle layer, go to Edit, Duplicate, and we can move it around. We can hit S on keyboard for scale, scale it down, readjust the gradient ramp real quick. So our goal here is to actually create depth in our work. We can create depth by adjusting the fast box blur. So we can set the blur radius to 33 on this duplicate, and it's gonna make it look like this circle is further in the background than the previous one. So we'll go ahead and continue to create some duplicates, and we'll adjust the blur radius every single time. And this one will be really far in the background, so I'll set it to 65 for the blur radius. And we'll create two more, and this time we'll create more in the foreground. So to do that, we'll go ahead and just move it down real quick and set the blur radius uh, down to three on this new duplicate and that look like it's in the foreground and remember just adjust those gradient ramps every single time you could have also pre-composed a little layer before doing this but i don't want to do that and we'll just do one more we'll move it over here and this time we'll just delete the fast box blur on this one and one thing you'll notice is that the gradient ramp anchor points are all in different areas so you see like in this right corner is orange but on this circle the orange is in the upper left corner so go ahead and feel free to variate that so we just need to animate all these in so we'll hit s on keyboard for scale add a keyframe for it move that keyframe forward in time maybe by a little past half a second and set the scale down zero percent we'll go ahead and select all the keyframes hit f9 on keyboard to make them easy ease and we'll go to the graph editor and we'll come here and make sure we're set to the speed graph select the keyframes and drag the handles all the way to the center on both sides and then feel free just to offset the layers and time just by a few frames or so so they don't all come in at the same exact moment so after a quick render here's what we have and it looks really good it's starting to come together but now we need to actually add in our graphics so we'll just add in a title real quick and show you how you can overlay this properly but before we move on, if you're looking to save time while producing awesome work, we have over 15,000 templates for you to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any of the templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check our links in the description below to take a look at all the template packs that we have. And of course, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs as well. Those links are in the description below. So I have our text here, I already typed it out. One thing I'll actually do right away is a little quick technique is we can grab our top title if you're working with two titles and we you can click on the swap fill icon right here and this will turn into a stroke title real quick you can adjust the stroke width right here uh, in the character window so now that our titles are set up we can overlay this into our scene properly so for example i can hide our second title underneath the two circles here so all i need to do is just bring this down and start to kind of rearrange things so i know this ball should be uh, behind everything so i'll go ahead and put that underneath the title and perhaps i still want this one to be underneath the title so i'll go ahead and select it and just make sure it's underneath there as well and I can move this ball around and see, okay, that's gonna be on top of that title and that looks cool. But perhaps I want this title to be hidden underneath this ball right here. So what I can do is just bring it down. It's automatically hidden and make sure that this top circle is underneath everything as well. So you go ahead and just adjust your layers to blend everything together. Now, one thing I wanna do is add a drop shadow to these circles so we can add even further blending to this. So we'll go ahead and select this ball right here and we'll come here to effect, 
uh, perspective and we're gonna grab drop shadow. We'll change our color to maybe that magenta and we'll come here to direction. We can just change direction here so you can make sure it's gonna overlap on this side of the circle. And we'll come here to softness and set up to 200. So just a little before and I'll zoom in here to show you a little before and after. So I'll turn off the drop shadow. There was nothing there and now there's drop shadow and it's just blending in there even more. So you're welcome to take that drop shadow, copy it and paste it to other, you know, uh, circles in here or shapes that you're using uh, to help make a difference in your work. So we'll go ahead and just change direction on this one. Make sure it's getting on that top part of the first title. And we'll just generically add them to everything else. So, you know, that'll look good on the background. All right, so here's what we have and it's really coming together. I think the one thing we need to do is animate the text. I'll show you how to quickly do that. So obviously there's a lot that you can do and this isn't a text animation tutorial, but I'll show you real quick. So we'll open up the uh, title, come here to animate and we'll just add a position and we'll come here to add property and we'll add uh, opacity. And we'll go ahead and just take our first title and move it over here and set the opacity down to 0%. Open up range selector and we'll add a keyframe for start. Move forward to say one second and set up to 100%. We can open up the advanced tab and set it based on from characters to words. We'll go ahead and select both our keyframes and do the same exact thing in the graph editor that we did previously. And then when we're done, we'll take animator one, we'll copy it and we'll paste it to the next title. But this time we'll go back into the animator and instead of the positioning being on the left side, we'll go ahead and move this over to the right side of our composition. So now with these animations applied, our title animates in and everything's overlaid. And if you watched our last tutorial, you'll know that adding side graphics to your work is going to make a huge difference in that as well. So feel free to add any you know, additional titles to the bottom or random graphics to help pump up the value of your composition within minutes. So we're at the end of the video. You can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro template packs. Those links will be below. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post two post-production tutorials every single week. And always be creative.